The Norwegian company Kongsberg Defense and Aerospace secured a major contract with the International Fund for Ukraine for the delivery of Advanced Unmanned Aerial Countermeasure Systems CUAS, to the Ukrainian Armed Forces. The systems, valued at 65 million euros, are designed to counter a wide range of drone threats and will be a crucial addition to Ukraine's defense capabilities. It seems that the first system will be delivered to Ukraine soon. Norwegian defense company Kongsberg is making significant advances in anti-drone technology and integrated combat solutions. The company recently announced plans to send its Cortex Typhon anti-drone system to Ukraine, in an effort to protect against Iranian-made Shahid trailing munitions. Developed in collaboration with Teledyne Fleur, the Cortex Typhon system offers a comprehensive solution to mitigate aerial threats. It has the ability to physically disable drones, providing a robust countermeasure against a variety of aerial threats. The package includes Kongsberg's Remote Weapon Station, RWS, and the Cortex Integrated Combat Solution, ICS, along with surveillance systems. Kongsberg's technology suite for the Ukrainian Armed Forces includes its Remote Weapon Station, RWS, and the Cortex Integrated Combat Solution, ICS. These systems are designed to integrate multiple vehicles, unmanned systems, and sensors into a single network, enhancing the armed forces' ability to respond to threats effectively. Eirik Lai, president of Kongsberg Defense and Aerospace, emphasized the importance of the contract, highlighting that it will enable the Ukrainian armed forces to protect their population and defend the country against aerial threats. The contract also includes contributions from the Norwegian government, including the donation of Dingo 2 vehicles, Kongsberg RWS, and associated armaments. The International Fund for Ukraine, IFU, established by the United Kingdom and various international partners, aims to swiftly identify and acquire critical defense capabilities for Ukraine. The fund is managed by the British Ministry of Defence as the representative of an executive committee composed of the United Kingdom, Norway, the Netherlands, Denmark, and Sweden. In addition to these partners, Iceland and Lithuania have also contributed to the fund, reaching a cumulative amount exceeding €890 million Euros to date. The assistance provided by the fund can be diverse and varied. 